new at 6.30 tonight. We are seeing women carry so many extra responsibilities in this pandemic. One Spokane business owner is trying to make sure her store survives the pandemic while making sure her kids get the education they need. Eleni Dow shares her story, continuing our Her Recession series. Small businesses are hurting because of COVID-19, and Finders Keepers is no exception to that. It may be particularly tougher for them because all they sell here is formal wear, but the owner tells me she is optimistic that one day a woman will be able to stand in front of the mirror again and try on her clothes. Alyssa Scheidler is a mom first before small business owner. They're not able to go to school. Staying home with them was my priority. While she tried to help get her kids through online school, her other baby, her store finders keepers, started losing money. A store full of formal wear, a thousand dresses, untouched for nine months with no proms and homecomings, nothing. Easily 70% down from what we would normally. While trying to figure out how to make this place survive the pandemic, she was struggling with her kids at home. Being a mom and a teacher and trying to be everything is not easy. Online school through Spokane schools was hard. They then switched to homeschool. There's definitely days where I was so optimistic and like, yeah, like this is a great day. We did it today. And then other days it was just like, meltdown all day. <laughs> Eventually, Scheidler put them in private school, needing them back in class. I did have a lot of family support helping us pay for private school, um, but just being able to afford that when I don't really have income is was very difficult. Now, her kids are back in Spokane Public Schools, getting to go to class as a kindergartner and first grader. While things are better with her home life, she's uncertain about the future of her store, needing someone to lease out the place while she puts a thousand dresses in storage until things get better again. I just I have to remind myself I'm not in it alone. Like everyone has been affected somehow, and hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel. In Spokane, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.